Joining us now in the studio is Michael Swavely. Michael is the Vice President of Marketing for Compaq Computers, makers of the Compaq Desk Pro 386. Also with us from Compaq is Lynn Parsons, who's going to be operating the 386 during our demonstration. Jan? Mike, these machines have been selling like hotcakes. Who is buying them and what are they using them for? Well, Jan, they have been selling well and a whole range of customers are finding that they meet their needs. Uh, most of these customers are really looking for the power and performance that the 386 brings to their applications, whether they're very large spreadsheets, very large databases, or more specialized applications such as CAD CAE, uh, network file servers, or even a small multi-user system running Xenex. So I guess it's really the speed, as Jan mentioned at the beginning of the show, that the users are looking for now. I, I want to try to give our audience a, a feel okay. for the speed of this machine. You've got a very complex macro up here, which you're going to run on a spreadsheet. Tell us about the demo. Right. This is uh, about a 5,000 cell spreadsheet, and this is a very complicated macro running under Lotus 1, 2, 3. And, um, okay, let's just sort of run this macro now, Lynn, and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, well, as you could tell, it was a very complex macro, even for one, two, three, right. and uh, fills in the spreadsheet, does some recalculations, then goes back and uh, does some comparisons, and then refills the spreadsheet, a couple other items like that, and uh, takes a grand total of all of about 16 seconds to complete this very complex uh, spreadsheet. And there it is. And there it and is. We saw it went out to about 500 rows there, didn't right. it? Right. Over 5,000 cells yeah. uh, are worked with in this uh, particular example. Okay. To really get a sense of the comparative speed here, Lynn, I'm going to ask you, you can set up the compact to run in the 8088 mode at 4.77 right. megahertz. So, if Lynn, you'll do that and run that same macro on the same spreadsheet. We'll run a clock on it and see what the difference is. Okay. You know, this brings up an interesting question, though. Does the speed of the 386, does this obsolete the AT and the 286? No, I don't think it obsoletes it. Um, there will still be a significant price difference for the added performance of the 386. And uh, I think that both the 286 based products as well as the 386 based products will have a place in the marketplace for the next several years. Okay, excuse me. You've just started running the, the demo now in the, in the slower mode. So mm -hmm. we'll run a clock on this and we'll see how long it takes. Okay. Uh, Mike, what about this issue of compatibility? I mean, how nervous should a user be? Uh, we see here an example of compatibility in which you're right. able to put it into that uh, 8088 mode. Uh, all existing software will run on this? Yes, basically Compaq is staking its reputation that is built for delivering the utmost in compatibility on this product, uh, as we do with every new product we introduce, and uh, the user should feel very comfortable with the compatibility of the product. Now, s some users are worried uh, about what IBM will do, and any day IBM will announce its 386 machine, right. and everybody's saying, what a gutsy move on the part of Compaq to be out there first. Mm -hmm. How afraid is the company of this? How risky a move is it really? We don't feel like it's a risky move at all. Uh, we believe that the industry standard that has been established for uh, software for the business marketplace is clearly in place. And what we've done here with the Despro 386 is innovate within that existing standard as opposed to trying to go outside the standard and do something different. Now, IBM uh, may or may not enter the marketplace at any point in the future. Uh, the market will judge what IBM brings to the market in the same way as it judges uh, any other manufacturer's um, new products. And you're not worried about their getting out there on a standard which is slightly different from yours and having to battle that? Not particularly, because they do have to live within the market realities. And the reality is that American business has made an enormous investment in the industry standard. Mm -hmm. And for IBM or anyone else, they may have buried themselves in this standard here. <laughs> this this thing is still running, by the way, Jan. You know, we're still watching uh, the slower version, NXT, if you will, right. trying to still do those recalculations. This still says, wait, wait, wait. Uh, while we're waiting, Mike, uh, one other question. When do you see people are saying, well, where is the real application? Where is the real power? Jan was talking about mm -hmm. the graphics. All the new things we'll be able to do. When is that going to happen? Well, I think that the introduction of the Pro 386 has kicked off the start of that. And frankly, there's hundreds of companies out in the industry right now working on new hardware capabilities, new software capabilities to really deliver all the benefits of the 3D6 architecture to the customer. So I think we'll start seeing those. Ah. What do you know? It done it. It did it. <laughs> and on my watch, it took two minutes and 17 seconds for it to do what took 16 seconds right. when you were running it with the 386 chip. Yeah, about eight and a half times yeah. uh, longer.